He has declared himself king. What? What about... Jasper tilted his head, trying to remember. He had forced himself to forget so much. It had been the best choice for his sanity. The council was forced to recognize him. That ingrate took out the other that had a claim to the territory. Someone I hadn't been informed existed. She glared at him. If Jasper didn't have a constant death wish, he might have wilted under the look. However, as it stood, he didn't care too much. He wanted freedom any way he could get it. And you're telling me this because... Jasper was already bored with the conversation, even if his soul ached to hear more about the boy. No, man, now. He had bonded with all those years ago. I am telling you this because he has forgotten his place. I've given him enough time to stretch and grow, but I was promised... Myla cut herself off and sat back. His life is mine. He belongs here. Jasper kept his mouth shut. There was no controlling a half-god. Why didn't they realize this? It was history repeating itself. But that was no surprise with the amount of information erased and forbidden from being passed down. They said only the victors wrote history. You will convince him to return to me. Jasper blinked slowly, turning over what she'd just said to him. He could go free? The moment he walked out the door, he'd hightail it across the country. No, fuck that, he'd leave. Find some island and live on the beach. He'd forget everything and never look back. It was for the best. Still, even as Jasper thought it, his chest throbbed and the need to seek out the one sank deeper into his psyche. We will need to form a blood contract and you will link. No, Jasper said. He ground his teeth, mad at his own mouth for responding before his brain could catch up. Still, the idea of taking someone else's blood, let alone pledging himself to Mila, regardless of the possible freedom, made him ill. No. I will never serve you. Jasper ignored all the growls and hisses aimed at him, he didn't so much as react as one of them took a menacing step toward him. Is this some kind of love? Queen Mila laughed. <laughs> it's sad if it is. He hasn't once asked for you to be released. Even when he'd gotten the upper hand, he didn't come for you. You are nothing more than a pawn. If you thought that would hurt me, you are sorely mistaken. He is my master and now apparently my king. I do not love him, nor do I require it. Jasper meant the words down to his soul's deepest part. Love wasn't possible, not when hate burned through his veins. Why should I trust you then? Jasper didn't so much as blink. Because no one hates him as much as I do.